Welcome to this video presenting the ABC software for mechanical machines. To engrave with the ABC software, we proceed in three steps. The A screen, plate definition. You define the size of the plate or the object or the engraving and its position over the engraving area of the machine. The B screen, the composition itself. You create the elements to engrave. The C screen, Engraving settings, you define the engraving parameters for the machine. By the way, the ABC software is dongle protected. You need a dongle to be able to send the job to the machine. Let's start now with the A screen. On the left of the screen, you have a command toolbar with the functions new, open, save a job, here the undo, redo, and the zoom. You have different composition tools that we will see later, and here a parameter window. Inside the parameter window, you can define the language of the software, the language of the keyboard, the unit, if you install the software on the PC or on the tablet, and here you can add a new machine inside the software. The process has been described in the mechanical machine installation video. On the top of the software, you have a contextual toolbar. It adjusts itself to what you want to do. Plate size. Here you can enter the size of the plate, for example. Plate orientation. By clicking on this little triangle or by pressing three seconds on tablet mode, you can define the orientation of the plate on the engraving area of the machine. You also have the mirrored orientation. Your choice gets recorded here. The plate position on the machine. The plate position depends usually on the accessory you use. Either a table, then you place the top left corner of your plate at the top left corner of your table, or a vise, then you place the center of your plate at the center of your vise. You can adjust the position either manually, like this, or by using the positioning function. By clicking on this little icon, you can adjust this position by clicking on this little arrows. And you can see that the values get automatically updated. The point and shoot. This function allows to acquire the size and the position of the engraving directly on the object to engrave using the red pointer of the machine. This information is automatically transferred to the software. We can then compose in a complete piece of mind. It's also possible to do a multi-point and shoot on a complex shape. If you have a cylindrical object, here is a window where you can enter additional information. For example, for a ring, you can define if you want to engrave outside or inside. You can enter either the perimeter or the diameter. Let's enter the diameter. Here you enter the width of the ring. Let's validate the window. The value get updated automatically. You can visualize the ring. You can adjust the diameter. For the rest of the presentation, Let's continue with the flat engraving. Let me select flat engraving. When we enter into the B screen, we are by default in text mode. This is the reason why the contextual toolbar is proposing you different text tools. The first one is the automatic or manual text mode. By default, your text is automatically centered on your plate, as you can see here. On my screen but if you select the manual mode you can position the text the way you want for that three different tools are at your disposal the first one the distance from the left enter 55 the distance from the top and the length of the baseline you can also adjust the size of the font and 6 millimeters. The 
justification tools. The justification tools are positioning the based line compared to the origin of the line. Centered, left aligned or right aligned. Different modes are available. Italic, underlined or exponent. Let's write now a text. We can apply to this text different type of fonts. The gravograph fonts, a large choice of fonts are available. Single line fonts or automatically filled in fonts. Let's select the text by double clicking and apply the font. The usual two type fonts. Let's select the text and apply this font, for example. In this field, we have a reminder of the last font used or the current selected font. By clicking here, you can visualize all the different characters available in this font. Let's now add a logo. We create a line. By clicking on this icon, we get access to a large choice of logos. Let me select this one. Other text tools are also available. Text on angle, text on arc, vertical text. Now that the text is created, we can add different geometrical shapes. Rectangle, circle, line, rounded rectangle. Let me select the rectangle. Don't forget to click on the selection mode to unselect your tool. Now, in the contextual toolbar, you can define precisely the size and the position of your selected element. Let me select the rectangle. I enter the values manually. You can also use the positioning function by clicking on these arrows. You can adjust this position. As you can see, the values get automatically updated on your composition. The bin is used to delete an element in tablet mode. Now that the composition is finished, we can apply the different engraving tools to the elements. We have different engraving tools, the vectorial filling with contour, the plotting, the cutting. By default, this is the plotting tool that is selected. Let's apply now the tools. Let's keep the plotting tool or the gravel graph pre-filled font. Let's use the vectorial filling for the two type fonts. Select the tool that ABC will use to calculate the filling toolpath. They are listed from the smallest to the biggest. As the text is quite narrow, let's select a small tool. And the cutting tool to cut the plate. Here is the final composition. Now we can apply the engraving parameters corresponding to our machine on the engraving tools. We can use the values saved with the job or presets proposed by Gravotech. We can also enter the values manually. For the vectorial filling, we have the X and Y speed and the Z speed in millimeter per second or inch per second. The depth in millimeter or inch. For the plotting, let's keep the same parameters. And for the cutting, let's reduce the speed as we cut in one pass.
the Z clearance above the engraving surface. Let's enter two millimeters. The spindle rotation. We can turn off the spindle rotation when we use the diamond. We have the possibility to acquire automatically the Z position of the material, either with a diamond or with the regulating nodes. Here are all our parameters. If you want to temporarily deactivate one toolpath, just click on the icon. We are ready now to send the job to the engraving machine. Before that, we have the choice to do a simulation on the machine by clicking on this eye icon. 